that's... Okay, you guys, by popular demand, and I hope this is working well, by popular demand, people, my fans, really my one fan, I only got one guy signed up on my website, has requested that I do a cooking show. It's kind of a test, because I just want to, I'm going to, really, the first real show is going to be menudo, but we're going to cook something really simple. It's just crock pot chicken. Now, I go on the internet, maybe you do too, and I find recipes that are ridiculous. And you know, they want arrowroot or some odd thing, and I just want to spend that kind of money. I want something really simple. So what we're going to do, and what's neat too is we, we cook the chicken, but we're also going to make chicken broth when we're done, and we can make chicken noodle soup, which is delicious. It's going to be really spicy. Now, we're going to use green pepper. Green pepper, hmm, these are good. We're going to use some potatoes. I've got four. Potatoes are always good. I buy these for 99 cents for a 10 pound bag here in the hood in LA. 99 cents a pound. I'm gonna put a couple onions. I got these, I think, six pounds for a dollar. What a deal. I got garlic. Garlic. And I've got celery. And uh, anyway, so we're gonna cut, chop this all up and uh, get it together. Now, in, in a skillet, I'd make a mere poire out of the onion, carrot, green pepper, celery. That might be a little too much. I, there's two different kinds of mere poires, I forget. And I, I also said garlic, and we we'll get little things of garlic here. These are made in China, 69 cents for five. I've taken two out. Anyway, I'm going to chop these up, and you know, you, you know how to chop things up, so I'm going to cut things up. Uh, I brine the chicken, and the chicken is in the crock pot. And what we're going to do is we're going to spice it with a little salt, a little pepper, a little paprika. And the paprika makes the broth really spicy. So when I have my chicken noodle soup with that broth, oh boy, my theme is the spicier the nicer. We'll see you later. Hey guys, I'm back. I chopped up all the vegetables. I have carrot, onions, celery, and garlic. So I, I ch chopped the garlic real small so it'll spread through the dish. And uh, got my onions. I kept the onions big. I want those onion juices to drip, drip down the chicken. Got a lot of celery. Celery is very powerful. I don't know why it is, but it's very powerful. And I'd have to do some research, but very good. So that those are my those are my vegetables. I haven't cut out my potatoes yet, but I'll work on that. So this is a bowl I got from Annie Sue. Isn't that a great bowl? Where it is a hat, but um, but that's my bowl, and I'll cut up my potatoes. I'll bring my chicken over. We'll put some paprika on it and salt it. I'm gonna salt my vegetables to get some chemical reactions going. We want the juices to start flowing immediately. So I'll be back with you in a sec. Bye. Okay, here are my potatoes. I chopped them up, and you can chop them as big as you want. They're gonna get real soft in the crock pot. You can chop them small. You can chop, chop them big. They'll get real soft and real tasty and the juices will marinate on there. So I put a little salt on here and I'm, I'll put, I'm using paprika in the recipe so I don't really have to pepper it. I might want to put a little paprika on here. I'll probably put a little paprika. And I'll probably put a little pre paprika on my vegetables. Now I'm going to bring the chicken over here. We're going to just put a little paprika on it and dry it down and, and uh, I'll be right back with you. Now what I have here is I've got my chicken. Can you see my chicken? Now what I'm going to do with my chicken is I'm going to salt it. Now I brine this chicken. That means I put it in my stock pot, put salt and water in there, and I let it sit. I actually let it sit for about 36 hours. I mean, it might not be good. They recommend 24 hours, but we'll see. So, But what I'm going to do to make this a little easier, I'm actually going to put this in my crock pot. That way I don't lose any... Uh, I don't lose any of my spices and I'm going to put my paprika on here, really bathe it pretty good and let that seep down. Now the thing about cooking chicken is the chicken will produce enough juice and so uh, I don't have to put water in and again it's going to, it's going to juice down there so the bottom is going to, going to be juice so I can, I can spice the top and it's all going to seep down. I'm going to try to get my onions on top and let, in the potatoes down along the bottom. Now let's go over this, you know, I live in Los Angeles. Uh, Los Angeles, yeah, expensive city. Lived in Santa Monica for a while. Very expensive, especially real estate. 
But in Los Angeles, my chicken, 87 cents a pound. Celery, 50 cents a stalk. Carrots, I think it was four packages for a dollar, not the big, the smaller packages. My potatoes, again, I said before, 99 cents for 10 pounds. And uh, my onions were six pounds for a dollar. And my garlic was five, five, uh, whatever they call garlic things, but five of those for 69 cents. And so in the hood, in the South Central here, and I live near the El Super and the Superior, and I got Kmart. I've got Food for Less a mile this way, a couple miles this way. I've got Smart and Final. I've got a Numero Uno, just maybe about a mile down to Vernon. I'm in Vermont and Slauson. Anyway, the point is, this ends up being pretty inexpensive, and it's going to be very tasty. So let me uh, check out for one sec. I'll jump out, get my paprika, and I'll be right back with you. Now here's my recommendation. This is my paprika. If you go to Smart and Final, look at these big, that was four bucks. Now you go to uh, other supermarkets, Vons, Ralph's, Albertsons, they give you two ounces for five bucks or whatever. You know, you get the same, this is uh, 17 ounces of paprika. Now I like to use this on uh, my fries. I cut up potatoes and I cook fries in the oven. But what we're going to do is we are going to put paprika on here and you know give it a nice dose. I don't I don't measure it out. I just cook by feel. And I normally do pretty good. Bad news is I I, I forget what my recipe is and I could put a little cayenne pepper in here, but it's probably going to be a little too hot. So I am putting a lot of paprika in there, and I'm gonna I'm going to shut this. Oh, I gotta go wash my hands. So let me go wash my hands. Okay, there's my uh, paprika. Uh, I need to put a little more on the top there. We're gonna speak, sprinkle paprika, and uh, you know, there's my veggies. It's about the right amount. And there's my potatoes. I'm gonna fit those around the the outside. So there's my crock pot. I got to put a little salt on the top of this, and uh, then we'll put the put the potatoes and then we'll put the vegetables on top. Okay, what we're gonna do here is we are going to put the potatoes down in around the bottom here if you notice this so the potatoes are down here the reason we want to put the potatoes down here is we want the juices to flow over them and so these potatoes are become really soft then we'll layer the vegetables on top now we salted the potatoes and you know this is good this will come out to be you know, roughly eight meals probably or more. And so it's a good investment. I might have a little, I might have a few too many potatoes. Well, I dropped my crock pot. I might have a few too many potatoes. So I may have to uh, skimp on these a little bit. So let's, let's get my veggies. I'm gonna start putting the veggies on top. See, the veggies <coughs> are gonna seep down and the veggies and the chicken will produce a lot of juice and it's too bad you're not going to be able to smell this now the peppers will i got green peppers in here too i might not have mentioned that but the green peppers are in there and uh yeah i may have a few too many potatoes but better too many than too little and we can <laughs> we can move this around we can move this around and um we can move this around and get everything to fit in and I might be able to <coughs> put a few potatoes <coughs> on the top and that that's good <coughs> I'm gonna save my potatoes and I'm gonna save a few vegetables to cook an omelet no big deal so we'll set this over here and again my little bowls these are these are compliments of Annie Sue Annie Sue gave me these these are fabulous 
So that's all ready to roll. We're gonna pop this in. I might put a little more salt on top, might put a little bit prep pica on top, and we're ready to roll. Crock pot, this is my crock pot. It's, it's all filled, I'll cover it. And I have, it actually have an off, a keep warm, a low and a high. But I'm gonna cook this on low. I like cooking a crock pot on low for eight, eight hours, nine hours, seven hours, eight to 10 hours. I usually look it up on the internet, I forget how much you should cook chicken or beef, but just look it up on the internet. So there's the crock pot, we'll take the lid off, and I'm going to put a little more salt in here. A little more salt, because we're going to let that drip down. That'll drip down with the juices, I'm sorry, my camera's a little screwy there. And I'm going to reach back and I'm going to grab my paprika again, off my spice shelf. Boy, oh boy, how's that for a spice shelf? But guess what? I left my paprika over here. So I'm going to go grab my paprika. And again, one of the great things about this dish is that the broth that it will produce will be very spicy. So what you're going to have is paprika, paprika, chicken noodle soup. Now I'm going to turn this. That's the keep warm. That's the low, so put that on low, and the light did not go on. Why didn't the light go on? Ay, 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 that's not good. Let's move this up here. Okay, I'm back. You know, I got some bad news. I, I did a dumb thing. I My crock pot's not working, and we'll, we'll listen to this. I'll put this real close. Well, it's buzzing. Maybe you can't hear it. Well, what I did, dummy me, and this is a gift from Sue, I, uh, I immersed it in water. And I just wasn't thinking. It got really dirty inside, if you can see. So I was really trying to scrub it, and I thought, oh, I'll let it soak. And, you know, I just, it's been so hearty and so good and so strong, but it just won't stand up to water. But I'm going to go to Kmart today get a new crock pot. So we'll have to transfer my dish. And maybe I can find the same one, and that way I'll have two um, two uh, uh, containers, two uh, inside things. Anyway, I'll be back in a sec. Bye.